Radical, wake the hell up. Your video just started. Look at Cream over here, man. Up Sonic right here. Now the call where she was so bright. Damn, look at look how like, clean the animation is. Look at all these playable characters. Sonic, Knuckles, Tails, Amy, and Rouge. Like all the mobile game too? They got cream there too. I love the amount of work that like, a lot of the animators and like artists done with a lot of these Sonic intros. Like it's just so good. Make excited to play the game though too, actually. Yeah, and like always, here's a simple, generic mobile game title screen. Or the Eggman cook. Bro! This man kidnapping Cream. That's a whole new world for him. Obviously, anything Eggman comes up with always goes out to uh, failure. Up here, Sonic and Co. This entire cast of characters like reminds me of Sonic Prime. And a go away though. Oh, I can control her dreams. What's going on here? Oh, now they're asleep. Just like Eggman. Now in the dreams. This man Sonic always falls on his face every time something like this happens. Asleep, but that was ridiculous. Look how it flew with the animation and like movement is. Like, this is all I want in a Sonic cutscene for Sonic friends. games. And it's all a mobile game too, by the way. I right, want the actual game, so push hold to run. Ah. Movement here is pretty good. Let's progress, so... Collect some rings. Always. Okay. Up on the rail grind. Okay. Hold to boost, so press the square button. I'm playing on the PS5 controller, by the way. Collect to fill the boost meter with those. So it's like colors with the whisk capsules. Okay. Jump. Hold jump higher. Okay. Nice. Home attack. So home attack is a separate button. Just like Unleash and Frontiers. Air dash. Oh. Light colors. Okay. Switch rails. Okay, perfect. Nice. So far, this game control is really good. So far. Oh, I click these keys. Eggman keys. I guess they progress to the next stage. Or next path of the stage, I meant. Yes, they do. Oh, those ramps right there. Those remind me a lot of like Mario Kart Wii, which is nice. Wow. Okay. Use the camera to explore the area. Okay. So, oh, okay, pretty good. You can convert the camera at any time of settings. Don't have to. Tap twice the light speed dash. Okay, I know like most games use like analog stick for light speed dash or like a separate button, like a Y button, but it being the same button is kind of work. So, okay. This whole like world, obviously it's a dream and everything, but like it feels like a whole imagination. God ah, damn. And I guess we're near the end of stage? Yes we are. Oh you got statues here too, so there's a lot of replayability in this game, I see. Looks like a dream room right here. I made it here. Wherever here is. This is Reverie Haven. My home. Oh. Well, nice to yeah. Face to the voice. So this is a new character, Arena. Up here's everyone. And we got Amy. Nice. So I assume we get to play as her after this one. Hmm. From what REM's explained, each dreamscape is locked down like a secured bunker. We can wade from the inside, but we can't get out. Yes. Hey, this is why Tails is a W, man. Because you get to know stuff like this. And here's Act 1, so I guess this is an intro stage, so Act 1, and I'm playing Amy by the way too. Okay, so on Scrabble Shores, Act 1, I'm playing Amy, so Amy controls the same as Sonic. Okay, got the keys. Got one of them, so... The other two are in each row grinding, okay. Nice. Platforming is really fun. Like, goal design-wise, it's pretty fun. Okay, got a second key. Nice. We need one more key. And we're good. So... Tough. Okay. Got the last key. Now we progress. Oh, we got, like, a Knuckles path, a Tails path, and then the Sonic and Amy path. Nice. 
Okay. Oh, man. Like, so far, this game is fun. Like, so fun. Can I see what the rest of the stages have, actually? Up. Oh, red ring. Get that. There we go. I see the end right there. And we are... Reach the end. So that's act one. Oh, okay, so basically you're taking the Mark 64. Oh, so they're taking the Mark 64 and Sunshine approach where you have like a uh, different like mission. And also reminds me a lot of SA2 in a bit. Can you know what SA2 had those missions where like Cut Counter Rings or Final Chow? Those also reminds me of two actually. So you got a nice like SA2 and Mario influence in this game, which I appreciate for. Even though 64 and Sunshine are pretty mid games though. I'm speaking facts. So I gotta reach each checkpoint before time runs out. So it's basically a time one. Stuff like this like screams replayability, which is nice though. I think I heard the game's gonna have like some post-game content too, so it's just like, pretty nice as well too. I'm excited for that. Looking forward to see what other stages have to offer too. Cause so far, like this like needs a very good first influence. And we got Act Two. I th yeah, it's Act Two. I think I'm gonna sue the rest of Act One. So, quick three, six stream orb shards. Okay. I'll play with Sonic mostly, but I'll do swap between characters uh, frequently though. And got that nice lo fi music playing. This soundtrack is already like easily shits on superstars. But a shadow of a doubt. So, I got one of them. Cool. That's two. No, actually three. Okay. Okay. Got the fourth one. So, two more to go. Oh, right here. That's five. And the last one should be over here. Where the section's at. Oh my god. Okay. Dang it. And we got it. That's all the shards. So reach a dream portal under one minute and 30 seconds. So another time one. Okay. So, this is probably the best one too, Koi. I feel like I'm, I could probably beat my own times too. Okay, so, this reminds me a lot of Generations actually too. Koi, Generations, like, mainly in Generations, I go, I replay stages to beat my own times. I feel like it's definitely like this could be in uh, Dream Team too, which is nice. Sonic Team, I love Sonic Frontiers, but like, you can definitely take notes from this game a lot too. Like, mix in the good with, uh, Frontiers and fix it with the good of Dream Team and like you get a perfect Sonic game. That's all Act 1. On to Act 2. This is so like fun. I'm happy about like this game dude. I mean it's a mobile game but still like this is about doubt like the best like honestly it's literally the most polished Sonic game I've ever played in recent years. I mean I haven't came across any glitches though but like from the looks of it like and from my the feel it, it feels so polished. Like, Frontier was really good. Like, like, Frontier was really good. But, it lacked some polish a bit. Even though the game was fun. Superstar was decent, but that had the worst amount of, uh, lack of polish. And same with, like, Color Ultimate and Origins. Even though I do, like, sound like Origins, though. I'm playing on my phone, by the way, too. And, like, it's not really, like, the most powerful phone. I mean, I got this, like, for, like, what, four years already? So, but... It's still able to run Dream Team consistently a bit, even though it does chalk up frames a bit. And we already finished the stage. And five Red Rings too. We already got Act 3. But we're continuing. Take part in record challenges to unlock awards. So, yeah, there's a lot of replayability in this game, which is nice. Uh, what happened here? Did the game crash? Or something like that? Okay, that was weird. I mean, that was just a crash though. That's not really anything too crazy though. Love the lo-fi too. Found one. I see you. Okay. That's one. Oh, they're pretty easy to find too, actually. Wow, I forgot the home attack, the right button. There we go. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, soundtrack is so good too. I'm loving it. I find it so impressive that like Harlight made Sonic Dash, Sonic Jump, and Sonic Forces Speed Battle, and now they're making a full-fledged 3D platformer Sonic game. I mean, it's still on mobile though, but still, like the fact that like it's a platformer on mobile is amazing. See the last one. Okay, and got that pretty easily. Okay, one of these again. So, yeah, dude, like, a lot of this missions, dude, just scream replayability, which is so fun. I'm loving it. I'm kind of gonna say about this game, like, this being so much fun. This is probably, like, in my opinion, like, just as good as Generations. So there's a dream shore there. This game, like, feels like a hybrid of, like, Adventure 1 and 2 mixed with Frontiers a bit. I mean, it's not open as Frontiers, but it feels a little bit like Frontiers SA 1 and 2 influence. Oh, shoot. Tough. Okay. Again, that's crazy. Okay, so and steady. Nice. Cool. And I got the Dream Shard. Very quick and easy. I'll go to Act 3 already, but like, missions like these are so fun to play through. I just like don't want to skip them. Okay. Nice. I feel like losing so much time a bit. Glad you can do home attack span too. Seven that frontier is lax though. Okay. Man, being a Sonic fan just feels so good because like you have like you have Frontiers, you have Sonic Prime, you have the movies, you have yeah, Superstars, you have Call Ultimate Origins. Even though those three are not really the best, there is still, you know, it's still content. I don't know, for some reason, like, this entire stage reminds me a lot of 3D World a bit. That's my first red ring. Nice. Missed the red ring, but it's okay. But, uh... Oh, got the keys, so that's one of them. And, uh, here is the other one I got. And the last one is over here, so... Get that red ring. We got it. Nice. Oh. You have to go to a specific area to uh, activate it. Okay. But we're progressing. Damn, dude. Like, got another red ring. Okay. <coughs> oh my god. Yo, biggest quest hit ever. Oh my god. I see the end. I see the end. Nice. And we reached the end. Got our dream orb. I guess it's a boss fight, I see. We're not doing that just yet. I, I honestly, I kind of wish Frontiers had stuff like this. Like, what like more like challenges too? I mean, sure you got the action challenges and those like Coco locations and like the combat stuff, but like stuff like, you know, this and like finding stuff too for like more points is also like fun. Oh my God. Yeah, turning after boosting feels a bit weird, but that's kind of like it. Yeah, I like Frontiers has like more like, more like Sonic E level design though too. I mean, the worlds and like the open zone and frontiers is really good. Like the islands they chose is pretty good, but like some of them lack that Sonic flair to it sometimes. Oh my god, the frame drops is crazy. PowerPoint slideshow. Alrighty. Take the shortcut. And we're close to the end. I think so. Let me try to do a skip real quick. I can't do a skip. I tried uh, hopping off the rail to like get a huge chunk of like uh, time, but nah, I don't think it's the case. I mean, it's a mobile game, so I guess it makes sense. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Okay, cool. Another clutch save. Okay, I see you. Thirty seconds in. No, 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 no. Tough. Okay. We still made it though. In seventy seconds. Nice. Oh, so you got you need to have tails and cream to unlock this. Okay. So there's some backtracking. I guess this is the boss though too. Up oh, here's our first boss fight. Dr. Crabulous. Pretty clever name too, by the way. Okay, so... Oh, it's four hits. Alrighty. Okay, got one hit. Night. Alrighty! Um, how, how does a mobile game have better bosses than a $60 classic game? Let that sink in. Damn. Okay. Hold up. I need rings, knee rings, knee rings! Okay, got rings. Nice. Tough. Okay, so what to do the patterns? Do the patterns. Okay, cool. Dang. Okay, home attack. Nice. We inflated his arms. Well, his hands actually. Okay. Tough. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Where's rings? Where's rings? Oh. I think I meant to have pre try. A few moments later. Okay. Oh. Where? Oh, it's in the back, I think. Yeah, back. Okay, cool. 
<laughs> we played him, he's strong. And boom, defeated. So that's all of Scrap of Shore Act 1. And we got a new Sage. Oh, we got Tails and Cream. And yes, we got Tails and Cream. But that's when we save for part two.